Changing your brake pads is something that I'd try and plan ahead, put it into my regular maintenance, just to keep an eye on those brake pads and see how warm they are. But maybe you're out on a really wet, gritty ride and you wear out a set of brake pads mid-ride. So let's look at how to replace those brake pads on the trail side. Brake pads are held into the caliper with a pin. So first thing to do is to remove that pin. On this SRAM brake, it's a two and a half mil Allen key that you need. There's a little circlip on the back of the pin, so pull that off, place that somewhere safe, and wind out that pin. Most brands of brake, you can actually just pull the pads out from the top, so it's nice and handy. Squeeze the pads together and pull them out, just so that they stay together and you keep a hold of that spring retaining clip in the middle. So old pads are out, let's put them to the side. And what you need to do is actually sometimes push the pistons back because the brake pads have worn out, the pistons have pushed further and further out so that the new brake pads, the thick surface, won't actually fit in. So you're gonna have to try and push those pistons back into the caliper. The way I'll try and do that is just with something soft like a plastic tire lever. This might be better done with a rear wheel out so you can just get that tire lever in and ease those pistons back into the caliper. That should happen because you should have space in the master cylinder where the oil level has dropped as it's pushed the brakes in. If in some cases you can't actually put those, push those pistons back out, you may need to take the bleed screw off your brake lever and just push those pistons out and let a little bit of oil drain out of that brake. But be careful that you don't lose a lot of oil. Got my new pads, they usually come with a new spring retaining clip as well. So I've put them together and I'm sliding them into that caliper. Mine fit in nicely, I've got enough space for those new pads to go in. If they don't slide in like that, that's when you have to try and push those pistons back. Sometimes new pads come with a new pin. It's normally okay to use the old pin if you haven't got one. Just check that it's not grooved or there's any marks on that pin because that's gonna restrict the pads ever so slightly when they're moving back. But obviously, this is a trail side repair, so use what you've got and maybe think about getting a new pin if it, is, if it does have grooves in it. So I've put the pads back in with the pin and I'm gonna put this little circlip on the back of the pin. That is just a nice little extra safety measure so that if that pin comes loose, it can't drop out and let your pads come out of that caliper and your brake fail. Once I've done that, I'm gonna go up to my brake lever, give it a try out and make sure it's working nicely and give my wheel a spin. If that's binding and not spinning at all, that's probably because the pistons are still too far out. So again, you're going to have to drop the pads back out, drop your back wheel, and just work those pistons back into the caliper as best as you can. So there you go, brand new brake pads, I'm ready to roll. If you want to see more videos from GMBN, you can click up here for our pre-ride checks, where you should have checked your brake pads. Also, you can click down here for how to change pedals. Or click on me to subscribe to GMBN. You got these brake pads, Mark?